Good morning, everyone. What's going on? Another day. What does that mean? We're going salmon fishing. You guys getting sick of it? It's my favorite time of year to do this right now. Early September. All these big salmon are showing up. As I've said, to go up the Sacramento River. I can't get into the 20 pound range. I just keep thinking about it every day. I want to get a nice big fatty. 19 pounds. I've done that a few times this year. Um, so yeah, that's the plan to go out for salmon, go out the Golden Gate Bridge today. We're going to uh, head out to Stinson Beach, Duxbury area again, try and find where all the fish are, get on a nice big one today. I'm going to do something different, we'll do a catch and cook. So we'll bring it back, fillet it up, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to cook the salmon. Uh, I got a really good way. So there's the boat. I have my good friend Jeff with me today. We went to uh, high school, college together. Hey everyone. So uh, tell him, what's your salmon experience? I know you're really good at flossing. I don't mean with the teeth. <laughs> I have done a lot of sockeye flossing. Uh, my only salmon fishing has been up in Alaska. So it's been a couple years. So I'm excited to head out this morning. All right. So you ever caught one in California? No. All right. So I always give them first fish, but if it's like huge, I might have to take the rod because I really want a big one. But other than that, first fish is yours. That's fair. All right, so we're going to head out. It's uh, bright and early. Sun's not even up yet. Follow us out. So we got uh, the small anchovies, like I mentioned before, there's three sizes. I don't like the big ones, you can't find the medium ones, so we're using the small ones. And what I did is on my uh, rig here, is I'm using three aught hooks now instead of four aught hooks. So I changed my hook size to a little uh, one size smaller to accommodate the smaller fish. Um, I think they still work good, spin well, and um, you know, my theory is maybe you'll get better uh, you know, hook sets because the fish is smaller. Salmon, you know, has a smaller thing to bite versus a bigger target. We go so i only have one downrigger today other ones in the shop it was just dropping the ball it wouldn't hold it it was weird so it's in for a, a fix so only one downrigger they make these clips to add extra um rods to the downrigger so i'll show you how to use these so we'll set back our first one as normal we'll check how it looks Slow down a teeny bit, very so slightly. Is this the one on the bottom? Yep. There, try that. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Give it a little more bend maybe. So I like to set them back, I think farther than most people. Um, maybe 40 feet. Go to the left a little, just cause you got these boats all around you. So then you wanna twist the line a few times so it doesn't move up and down the clip. So we'll drop the first one down, let's say 12 feet. All right, how deep's the water? Bottom left, 75. Yeah. We'll do a 15 foot spread. So now we let our second one out. Thank you. 
And then we have our clip here now. So it's just like before, we'll twist our line a few times. And again, you twist it so it doesn't slide up and down. You see, if you just put the line in there without twisting it, your line can travel up and down this. So now we have our clip that we'll go ahead and just attach to our line right here. So we're 75 feet of water. I'm gonna go down to 55. Okay, so we have the ball down 55 feet, which means our first one here is at the 55 feet. And then our second one here, we you know we had it down 15 feet when we attached the clip, maybe a foot up. So that's gonna be down, let's say 16 feet from that 55, putting us at 39. So whatever, roughly 40 feet and 55 feet down. We'll go with those two right there, put the camera on them. I'll sit in here and talk to Jeff and catch up on old times. So there's a guy running six lines right there on his boat, all by himself. I mean, obviously he's the commercial guy. Isn't that crazy? Could you imagine trolling around with six lines in the water? <laughs> I mean, I want to see him catch one because I just want to see that guy work. That'd be amazing to watch. We've seen the outer limits catch two so far. Only action we've seen from all these boats. Uh, probably only 30, 40 minutes out here, so not a lot of time in yet. But at least we've seen, you know, like I said, two fish get caught. So, some out here. Fast, fast, fast. Keep it tight. The only thing that I want you to think about right now is keeping the line tight, okay? okay. Is he still on? Real, real, faster. Keep reeling, keep reeling. I don't even know if it's a salmon. It's a rockfish. Oh. Could you keep it? Yeah, it's good eating. It's a big one. It is pretty good size. We'll keep them. Make a good fish taco. Yeah. All right, well, unfortunately not a salmon, but a nice rockfish.
a big fish on. It doesn't feel like a salmon. Really? Turn to the right. Slow down a little bit. Not a lot, a little. This is weird. There's a fish on. I do not know what we have on, guys. This does not feel like a salmon, but it feels like a big fish. I don't know if we went over some sand. This is like a halibut, but that, this isn't even the bottom pole. It's a big fish, though. Get the net ready, Jeff. Is this like a halibut or a link cod? See what it is. I know. I think it's a halibut. Probably a big one. So halibut's a little more crazy. If it's a halibut, you might want to gaff it. It works better. Oh yeah, he's going back down. Here we go. Um, link cod or link cod? All right, net it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice right. line. Yeah. Let's wear our link cod. It's a nice big one. Ten pounds. Salmon. Let's look to the keeper. So you're doing good. We're gonna bring him in right here because you can muscle him. Tighten your drag a little bit. Okay, go real. Okay, when you're real down. Okay, you're fine. There you go. Oh. Okay. Stupid downrigger. This thing sucks. Real, real, real. Okay, there we go. This is good. Real down, real down, real down, real down. Lift up. We got him. There we go. Henry. Woo. <laughs> yeah. King salmon. Nice. Dude. 24 and a half, almost 25. A little after 11 o'clock right now. Feeling really good about the bait. You know when you drop them down and they hit the right spin? Both of them have that right spin right now. I'm feeling really good about them. So we got three rockfish, two blacks, with a copper they're called I think, the salmon and the link cod. So came out here for big salmon. We don't have that, but we're not going home empty handed. That's for sure. We got some nice fish in there. So we're having a good time. We're getting some action. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm having a great time. That's Captain Jeff for the day. <laughs> and I'm the deck hand. All right.
two o'clock now. I'm sure the wind will start to pick up. It already is a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and head in. Uh, fun day out here, huh? It was a lot of fun. I got my first salmon. That's that, what I came out here for. That's right. So we got one of the goals accomplished. Fortunately, I didn't get my big salmon yet. So that just means I'll have to come out again. Don't forget, I'm gonna do a catch and cook. I'm gonna bring home this salmon, uh, take half of it, and show you guys how I cook it up. We got some good fish. Pretty good ice chest. Yeah, we got dinner tonight. That's right. All right, so here's our salmon. We'll go ahead and fillet it up on this one. Oh, hit all these bees. Big knife, go through here, just break those rib bones. Ta da! There you go. That looks great. There's our fillet. And we'll go ahead and take these rib bones off. We'll start back here. And just kind of shave those off. You want to make sure you keep this meat because it's the best part, the belly. Got a fin back here we need to remove. We'll get the barbecue going and we're gonna throw that on and have a uh, fresh teriyaki barbecue salmon so follow me to the barbecue So we're back in the kitchen now. We're gonna make our teriyaki sauce. We're gonna use one cup water, a handful of brown sugar, a cup of teriyaki sauce, a handful of regular sugar, and about a tablespoon of cornstarch. So now with the pot on the stove, mix the water, teriyaki sauce, brown sugar, and sugar, and cook on medium to high heat. You're going to want to stir the pot occasionally, and once you get a good simmer or boil going, you're going to want to add the cornstarch. But first add the cornstarch and a little bit of hot water and mix it in that, and then gradually pour it into your pot, stirring it, and that'll prevent any clumps. And what the cornstarch does is it thickens up your sauce. Keep stirring, and once you get it back to a boil, you can turn it off and your sauce is done.
So I like to rub olive oil on the salmon, you know, to help it from sticking to the barbecue. And if you notice, I take the skin off because the skin, I notice when I barbecue, it always burns. So it just seems like it's better to take it off when barbecuing. Um, and I do remove the pin bones. I just cut them out. So we got these all boneless. Got a little belly sitting right there. I think we're gonna have to try that out. Wow, so good. No seasoning at all, but it's nice and Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, it tastes as good as it looks.